And this is the first time that there's ever been any strong evidence that there's actually a genetic component independent of all those other things. And that changes everything. The ability to predict who might get it, looking for new ways of treating it. There's a higher chance that men with this variant would develop erectile dysfunction. It's not like two or three fold. And with common diseases like erectile dysfunction or blood pressure or, or Alzheimer's, it's going to be lots of genes. But this one contributed between 20 and 30 percent increased risk of erectile dysfunction. The interesting thing is that this uh, genetic variant is associated potentially with a transcription factor, a genetic factor in nerve cells in the brain. And we've never really thought of the brain as being a place where erectile dysfunction starts. But it might be. Because as a field, uh, the treatment of erectile dysfunction was revolutionized by Viagra and its other similar drugs, but it hasn't really moved forward in the last 20 years since Viagra was approved by the FDA in 1998. Instead of doing just a derivation of the same old stuff, these kind of studies can potentially point us to a new direction. And that's why we can't stop with this one discovery. We need to discover the other things that can give us other avenues into to improving health for men with erectile dysfunction. We have to follow up in a couple different directions. One is to uh, get even more men because if we have 100,000 men, we might find other uh, genetic variants that are also contributing, because this one probably isn't the only one. And so importantly, we need to uh, enlarge the study. It ushers in the possibility that for erectile dysfunction, we can have precision medicine like we can in other areas. I envision that at some point in the future, we can take a man's medical history and his genetic profile and other factors and say, look, you have a 50% chance of developing ED in the next few years, and this will have a major impact on the quality of your life. Let's try and solve that. And that would dramatically change how we do things.